Thanks for joining me in another video. Today we're going to talk about one pedal driving. Often when reviewing electric vehicles, I mention that some vehicles have this feature, but people frequently ask, what is it exactly and how does it feel? Well, let me show you. One pedal driving slows your car down to a complete stop when you let off the accelerator without using the brakes. One pedal driving maximizes regenerative braking. I did a more in-depth video on what regenerative braking is and how it works if you wish to check that out as well. Oh, by the way, regenerative braking in short is also known as regen. In the video, I explained that hybrids, PHEVs, and EVs capture and reuse kinetic energy. This energy is captured during deceleration and puts it back into the battery to power the electric motor. The concept of regenerative braking systems isn't new. In fact, in the late 1800s, there were tests with spring-type regenerative braking on horse-drawn cabs. Later, railways also started to use a type of regenerative braking. In an internal combustion car, the alternator generates energy in the same way that the electric motors in an EV capture energy. Each vehicle manufacturer has a different way of implementing one-pedal driving in their vehicles. One thing to note is that one-pedal driving is more common in vehicles that use permanent magnet motors. This is because permanent magnet motors are better at capturing energy at lower speeds than standard induction motors. At lower speeds to bring an induction motor to a stop, you will be using more energy than it would take to engage the regular mechanical brakes. That's not to say that induction cars don't have regen though, they still do just fine in that aspect. They're just not as good as capturing energy at lower speeds. How does a pedal in EV function? This subject came from an interesting question I received. They asked, in an electric vehicle, if you're going downhill, would you not be able to use regen the whole way since you would be going too fast or too slow? I think for that question, they may have been thinking that regen was either on or off. I can control it to go the exact speed I want it to. You can make granular changes to the amount of regen you'd like to go with the accelerator pedal. As an example, on a flat road in a gas car, if you accelerate with the pedal 50% pressed, you will continue to accelerate, obviously. When you release the pedal, you will still be accelerating, but now at decreased power, like 20% instead of 50%. Once you release completely off the pedal, you will start coasting and eventually get down to low speeds. In an electric vehicle that utilizes one pedal driving, if you push the pedal down to 50% power, you will also be accelerating. If you release to 25%, you will actually be regenerating power and the car will start to slow down. If you fully release your foot off the pedal, the car will use the maximum regeneration to slow itself to a stop. If you want to coast the car in that situation, there is a sweet spot between 25% and 50%, but you will just have to feel that out for yourself. Also, these numbers aren't exact by any means. Every car is different, so you just have to find out what works. Let's see how one pedal driving works in action, then we can see how different EVs are set up as examples. I'll take my 2018 Model 3 as the first to demonstrate. To get the full one pedal driving experience, you need to set the car to hold and set regenerative braking to standard. On newer Tesla vehicles, there is only the standard setting for region. There is no longer a low setting. Even on hilly roads, one pedal driving will slow you down. I'm at the top of South Mountain in Phoenix, Arizona, and we're gonna go down the mountain so you can see how one pedal driving works downhill. So right now, I'm just slightly pressing on the accelerator while we go down these hills. Still just lightly have my foot pressed down on it. Here there's a curb so I'm going to slow down, I'm going to let off a little bit, which you could hardly tell um, probably in the camera the slight movements, but they are there. Not using any of the brakes unless a javelina or something decides to cross my path, then I'll uh, step on the brakes. We're more so now at the bottom of the mountain and we're approaching a stop sign here. Again, I'm not going to use the brakes, but I'm going to stop to let off the accelerator. Wait for it to come to complete stop. Wait for the cars to pass when it's clear to go. I'm at the bottom of the mountain and I drove down all the way with using just one pedal. If you want to see the full uncut version, I'll attach the card in the corner so you can see. 
When regenerative braking is at work, the brake lights turn on the same way as if you were to use your mechanical brakes. All right, now I'm going to show you that the brake lights turn on once I slow down. So we're going to pick up speed a little bit, and then we're going to let off the accelerator, and the brakes are going to come on. And the car's slowing down to complete stop. There. So now I'm going to accelerate a little bit faster, just so you can see how long it takes for the car to slow down. Let's gain some speed. Let's go here, 25 miles an hour, and now we're gonna slow down. And there we go. If your battery is fully charged or if it's cold outside, you might get limited regen. This will affect how fast your car will start to slow down. Next, let's take a look back at some of the EVs I test drove that have one pedal driving. The Nissan Leaf works similar to Tesla in how it implements one pedal driving. The Nissan Leaf calls it e-pedal. You enable e-pedal with the switch in the center. Once enabled, the car will come to a complete stop. All right, we're gonna try e-pedal and I'm gonna let off the accelerator and the car will start slowing down on its own. There we go. It's really strong and it stopped. The Chevy Bolt chose to use a paddle on the back of the steering wheel. In the Bolt, the car needs to be in L mode. You control the amount of extra region the vehicle receives by pulling on that paddle. With the actual pedal, when you release your foot off the accelerator, it will slow down, but to come to a complete stop, you have to use that paddle or the brake pedal. The Bolt has one pedal driving and region on demand. When you're slowing down, you can use this pedal to use the region on demand. The paddle is not something I'm used to. Using the on-demand regen does make a considerable difference to the amount of regen you get. According to the gauge cluster, you can get up to 70 kilowatts of regenerative braking, which is really good. To get a more EV feel, I've been using the car in L mode, so it's stronger regen when I let off the pedal. The L mode also allows you to do single pedal driving and makes the drive more efficient. With this, you can easily come to a complete stop without using the physical brakes. The Polestar 2 also has a setting to switch on a one-pedal drive. You can adjust your braking intensity by choosing low, standard, or off. And you could turn off or set it low to one-pedal driving and turn creep on and off. On the Mustang Mach-E, to activate or deactivate one-pedal driving, you need to go into their drive mode settings screen and slide the button to turn it on. Online Ford indicates that drive modes and one-pedal driving will remain on each time you start the vehicle until you turn them off. I like that Ford took advantage of adding one pedal driving and it's also great since your brakes won't be used down as much. There are other vehicles that have one pedal driving, including the Hyundai Kona. Like the Bull, it also uses region paddles on the side of the steering wheel. With the Kona, you can control your region with these paddles and turn it off completely as well. One pedal driving is definitely something you have to try and get accustomed to. I love using it, it makes the ride so much smoother. When I have people drive my car for the first time, they mention that the car slows down so fast and it feels a little weird. But I've noticed that after a few blocks of driving, they finally get a sense of it. Thanks for spending time with me today. Make sure to subscribe for more EV content and follow me on social media at Kai's EV and Kai's Tesla. Kai is my dog. And check out my website for more EV resources at kai'sEV.com. That's all for now and happy charging.